Good evening from beautiful Rosendale, Wisconsin on this fine Friday evening. Now I'm going to do something I've never done before and I'm going to do a two for video. As you can see I've got two engines on the stand tonight and I'm going to do a run with each of them all in the same video, at least that's the plan. So the first engine here is my brand new, new in box, OS 32F ABC engine that I just featured recently in a quick look video. I have the supplied OS number 8 plug installed, a APC 10.6 prop, and some approximately 10% fuel. On the other side of the stand, I've got my recently retimed Sato FA 90 TS twin cylinder engine, and it is sporting two OSF glow plugs, a 14.6 wood prop, and approximately the same amount of fuel, the 10% nitro fuel. Now, you can go and look at other the other videos on these engines that were just recently released. Check the dates, and you can see more about them. But the only thing I'm going to do differently is I'm probably going to run this engine first because of the lighting and the direction and how I can set up the tachometer. And then I'll rotate the stand around so I don't move the camera. And then we can get RPM readings on the twin uh, Sato uh, 90TS. So that's what's new for tonight. Now let's start running the engines. All right, let's see how this engine takes a prime. Very well. That's gonna be a problem. I keep grabbing the wrong throttle. First time it's ever been fired up. with that low speed mixture and I screwed with it and I think I screwed it up too much so that's probably why that's not running too well right there
So the instructions say to do that, kind of alternate between a, a blubbering two-stroke and a little bit leaner. That's not typically how I would break in an ABC style engine, but clearly this low speed, and I know I shouldn't be worried about the low speed at this point, but the low speed is so low that I'm seeing fuel um, coming out of the car at low speed, so I'm closing that up some here. there because it is just seeming like it's way too rich on this low speed. I'm closing it up some more there. Like I said, I know I'm not usually doing tuning on the low speed on the first run, but I'd like to at least have it stay idling.
tank is done. Okay, let's uh, fire this Sato 90 TS up now. The way I usually have been uh, priming this is just by blowing through the vent. Because it's a lot easier than sitting there trying to make that thing take a prime. This uh, throttle is so, it's got such a lot of movement and it's so close to this upright and I don't have a hole drilled 
in a better spot so that I can really get a more direct linkage on it. So, and there's no throttle stop screw, so it's really tough to try to find a a throttle uh, a idle position that will sit there and be you know super nice and perfect and all that good stuff. have some fuel in the tank and daylight left. Let's see if the starter wants to work.
think we can end it there. Okay, so that's the run of these two inches. Now, some summary comments here. The OS engine ran very well. Um, when I did my initial carb setup on this, to me in the garage, maybe it was just because there was a little bit of noise and adjoining stalls, but I didn't hear any airflow coming out at the idle setting, the throttle stop screw, so I had opened that uh, low speed needle until I heard air coming out like I would normally do. Apparently that was the wrong thing to do because it just seemed like it was way too rich. There was fuel bubbling up when I was at idle. I could see it coming out of there so it was clearly too rich. Overall this engine ran very well for the first run. Um, not all engines are set up to idle perfectly the first run and clearly this one didn't. It needs some more time to actually achieve a, a reliable idle but it was definitely wanting to turn the prop uh, and I let it and I was touching the head throughout the run and it wasn't getting super hot. I mean it was warm but it wasn't like instant burn your skin so I know it wasn't getting overheated and that's typically how you uh, break in an ABC engine is just off of peak you know, 600 to 1000 RPM off of peak and you let it run and you heat cycle it and that's how you're supposed to do a, an ABC engine at least that's how I've been doing it and read about for years. Changing gears to this Sato 90 TS engine. It ran well um, so I had just retimed it or corrected the timing in it. I do not know the history of this engine. When I bought it I was told it was new in box, but it had been run at least once, maybe twice. I don't know what had happened to it. I don't know what the previous owner did to it. I outlined how one of the screws was gone or vibrated out. None of the screws have come out. And since I did that look inside and reset the timing on it, it runs and spools up better. However, this engine has an oil leak. I noticed it on my shorts video that it would start leaking from this cylinder head. Uh, for some unknown reason, I don't know why. Sato engines do not have gaskets, they don't have head gaskets. So I don't know what was going on with that. Uh, I haven't taken the time to look at it. I just noticed that during this run, it was an oily mess, dripping all over everything. And I've tried to wipe it up the best I can. And it's not just that it was coming out the vent because the vent, oil vent is back here and I had a whole bunch of oil dripping out here. It didn't seem to impact the way it ran, but it is a concern, I guess. I don't know that I'm too concerned about it. Uh, the engine runs really well. It's got good compression, so it's an oily pig. Uh, so what? I don't recall if the 60T I had was similar or not, and I'm sure my buddy Harvey can let me know if he is 60T or 90T is an oily mess when it runs. I don't know. All I know is this one is. Um, whether I address it and disassemble the engine and, and, and do something, I don't know. I don't know that I ever will. Like I said, it's not that big of a concern for me. But this engine runs really well. I think this was a very successful evening engine run, and I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you.